Hello, today I'll be showcasing how to install Windows Media Player 10 on Windows 10. This method also works on other versions of Windows such as Vista, Windows 7, and even Windows 11. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is go to the control panel. You're going to go on Programs and turn Windows Features on or off. We're just going to be turning off the bundled Windows Media Player 10. Click OK. Wait for it to apply the changes. All right, Windows completed the requested changes. All right, after that, we're just going to be downloading the installer. It used to be on the Microsoft site, but they took it down. But luckily it was archived, so we just go to the archive link right here. Okay. Now, we, we're not going to be running the installer, because if we try, as you can see, it's going to say this version of Windows Media Player 10 can be installed only on a computer running Windows XP. So we're, the method that we're going to be doing is we're just going to be installing this manually instead of automatically. So just extract the files. It's going to be pretty simple. Sort by type just to make it look easier. Alright. Now the first thing we're going to be doing is installing these INF files. You can install, check all the ones except this one. This one doesn't do anything so you don't need to install it. It won't anyways install. It's an extra thing. It's not needed, so. Just click yes on all of the user account control prompts. Alright, now it says you must restart your computer to apply these changes, so let's restart. All right, the next step here, let's go to where we just extracted the files. And what we're going to be doing, you see all of these DLL files, we're just going to be copying them to System32 to SWAL64. Usually the installer will do this for you, but we need to do it manually. So what we're going to need, we're going to need a Windows 10 ISO. Now you can take ownership of System32 and SWAL64. I don't recommend that as that is an unsafe method. So the safer method here, right, the safe, the actual safe method here, is we're just going to be booting to the ISO and doing it from the command prompt there, since it has all the permissions. So just go to your CD-ROM. Press any key to boot CD. So I really recommend this method because this is a safe method to copy DLLs to the system directories. It's a very simple thing. Oh, go and troubleshoot command prompt. Hit C, CD, user, CD, whatever your uh, username is, and CD to wherever you saved the thing. So you download CD MP10 setup. Now all we need to do is copy DLL C Windows System32. 
Now it's going to say overwrite. Now the reason it says this is because it still has the Windows Media Player 12 or the bundled Windows Media Player 12 DLLs. So it's just going to overwrite them to the Windows Media Player 10 ones. This is good. So we just put all. Now of course you could always revert this just by going to the control panel and enabling the Windows Media Player again. It will bring back to the original version that was bundled on your system and of course it will replace all the ones we copied to the ones that were originally there. So just to let you know. So right now we're going to overwrite them. But like I said, you can always revert if you change your mind. Now we just exit and continue to Windows 10. And that's all we need for the ISO. We don't need to do anything else with it. So, booting it to my user. All right. Next step here is we're going to go back to the folder. Let me go downloads. And you see here now, program compatibility assistant is going to say that this program is not compatible if we try to run the setup which it actually is so all we need to do to fix that so it doesn't prompt us if that message is just rename the file so just remove that underscore and it'll run and windows is here for me it says when system restore is turned off and that's fine all right after we've done that it will say this program it actually did install correctly but so this program installed correctly now we go on program files windows media player we see it's all here now what we need to do is we need to download a debugger called x32 dbg so go for go to the website download latest version right here your download will start shortly. Of course, all the ads are popping. <laughs> I mean, this is a fresh VM, so I don't have an ad blocker on it. It's a very simple method to install, install Windows Media Player 10. I haven't seen this method Actually, I haven't seen any method. I, this is the only method, but like I haven't seen any method of on YouTube or any tutorial about it. So that's why I'm sharing it here, because it's a pretty good version of Windows Media Player. All the other tutorials are usually for Windows Media Player nine and below. All right, I don't know why that took a while. But yeah, I figured out this method. And I wanted to share it. All we're doing really is just manually installing it. Okay, so we extract x32 dbg right here, run that, run. Click yes to all. Okay, after that, let's go back to our program files. Windows Media Player, right here. So the reason we're doing this is because, as you can see, setup dot slash wm is there, and of course, program compatibility compatibility assistant won't let you run it. And when you launch wm player, it's gonna launch this. So that's and then it won't let you. So we have to change change the file name inside the exe. So that's what we're doing. So follow my steps here. Go on view, then module. Double click on wm player dot exe. Now right click on any empty space, search for current module string references. So you can see, you see setup underscore wm.exe right here. Follow and dump right there. I got it. Click on edit, keep size, and then just remove the underscore. It's as simple as that, simple patch. And then patch it to the desktop since program files you don't have permission to save in program files. Very simple. Exit. All right. Now just remove this, the 
unpatched one. Copy and paste the patched one. Rename this. And just run WM player. Here's the setup, click finish. Now if you run a sale, an internal application error has occurred. What you need to do is just run the INF files again. You need to install them twice. Because after we copied the DLLs. So right here, we do the same thing again. you don't need to restart your computer it won't prompt you to anyways but you don't because we already did the steps so say here the file setup is is needed it actually isn't it's only saying that because we renamed the file of course and it was looking for that here as you can see because you know we renamed the file all that does is just going to copy it to here the program files we don't need it to be copied so you just click cancel. Now go back to the program files, launch Windows Media Player again, do this again, and voila, you got Windows Media Player 10 working on modern Windows. I don't have any songs to show, but it works perfectly. We have the classic visualizations. All right, so now that we know it works, let's finalize the steps here as you can see we're missing something we need to go to program files x86 windows media player 10 it saved the skins there but it actually needs to be in the folder with right here so just move copy and paste or move it right here and then the skins will show up for windows media so now if we go Where is it? Skin chooser. Now we can see the skins that were in the folder. And lastly, we can remove this. Lastly, we see a shortcut being created right here. So what, as you can see, the shortcut is not a valid shortcut. For some reason, the installer names it mplayer2 for the shortcut. I mean, a simple fix for that. We just go in properties. We just copy the directory to where the actual program is. I don't know why. I don't know why I chose this. Right here. Keep prefetch one. Just do that. Apply. Oh wait. Oh yeah. Uh, Wm player. Exe. There we go. Now, as you can see, the shortcut works with the icon. And there you go, Windows Media Player 10 on no, Windows 10. Like I said before, this version works on any other version of, I meant this method works on any other version of Windows. And it can work on Windows 11 too, so. Thanks for watching this method video. I hope you enjoyed this method that I shared.